In colonial Salem, Thomas Maul was a Quaker among Puritans, and he spent his entire life criticizing the government, which was illegal. Given the option, Maul always took public lashings over paying fines. Quakers might be insufferable, but they're good at business. Maul was a lifelong believer in witches, and when the Salem witch trials began, at first Maul was totally on board. As the body count rose, though, he became horrified. It was once again time for Thomas Maul to illegally criticize the Puritan government for their failures. This time, he wrote a whole book titled Truth Held Forth and Maintained. It were better that 100 witches should live than that one person be put to death for a witch who is not a witch, he argued. Mole was subsequently arrested for blasphemy. He represented himself in court, and he convinced the jury that his book was fine, actually. He was acquitted. The judge and prosecutors were pissed. His acquittal is considered as a pivotal event leading to the adoption of the First Amendment. Fighting Quaker, fight, fight, fight. 